two. On here, we enter the destination data. We'll go perf, and we'll go next phase, and Q and H. Because we're Kavik, we're just gonna go two nanner nanner two. Temperature down in at the bush is 28, 26. But I'm not matching the winds are 120 at niner. Perf, we got top of descent is in 55 miles. So we could also pop that out. And move that bad boy around. The question is, where does it get out of the way? So much information. With those pop outs you could do a glass cockpit with some USB monitors. Well, the problem is, is they're not detachable yet. I think the plan is to eventually have them detachable. Right now they're locked into the into the uh, environment here. Whereas like the G1000 from Laminar, you can pop that out and put that on another monitor or an iPad. Although, I don't know if any of you guys are running a Duet Display, but Duet Display does not work with the latest Windows update. Finally. Ugh. I can turn up the interior a little bit now. It was the environmentals that were really loud. Yeah, so duet display for your iPads to give you an extra monitor. Doesn't work with the latest Windows update, the creator update. I hope they fix it pretty soon. XHSI are also kind of cool. I haven't played with that. Although I am working on getting... Um, I'm working on getting uh, the PFD for the Zebo to be on my iPad. Right now I... I got the PFD working on another Windows monitor screen, but since Duet Display doesn't work, I can't do that. So I think eventually when the Air Manager updates for the iPad, it'll have a Zebo for a Zebo PFD. And and I should I mean we should have all the instruments for the 320 for sure. All right, we got 41 to the top of a descent. Google X H S I. Okay. QQ. Turn the uh, fasten seatbelt sign off. Top of descent in 34 miles. I wonder if it calculated it correctly. Am I on the TCAS? Uh, no. Are you pretty close? Oh gosh, you're right in front of me. There you are. There you are. Okay, so where come you're not coming up on the TCAS? Do I have to have to turn it on. I got T A R L threats. There we go. Threats all. Uh, I don't see you yet. Am I on your TCAS? Am I doing something wrong? Uh, there's. I think it's just right there. Threats all. Black and white. T A R A. Hmm. I thought you'd be on my TCAS because you're def definitely definitely within danger zone 25 is the top of descent no mine won't come on uh, I thought it worked in this one 
You're certainly on my four flight. <laughs> You're Delta 2259 on my four flight. And I'm catching up to you. So I either have to descend or I have to do an airline merger. gonna go right underneath my wing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure why TCAS didn't come on. That's interesting. All right, we're going to plan our, ta let's see, let's go down, to, we'll reset it to 2,000. So here, set this to 2,000. And we'll turn the seatbelt sign back on. We will do auto brake medium. <clears throat> Turn on LS. And we'll start our descent. So we'll come over here and we'll go boom and we'll do a descent. So there we start our descent. Formation flying in, in the tubes, yeah. We're going to simulate ATC giving us vectors. So we're going to go on a heading of 0, 2, 0. So I'm going to go heading mode 0, 2, 0. And yeah, we're in heading mode. So again, Maverick, I'm on a zero two zero heading uh, vectors just, it's just like an intercept ILS for uh, ILS 9 show you guys on the four flight what I'm doing so over here on the four flight this is our plane down yonder uh, there's Maverick there right behind me 1300 feet above me it doesn't look like he started his, his descent yet we're going on a zero a zero two a zero two zero heading uh, up here. Basically, what we're going to do is the zero two zero heading is going to intercept the ILS right right up there. We'll do a, a, probably another vector to intercept, and then we're going to intercept this ILS uh, for runway nine, and we need to be at Chilt, at the Chilt intersection at 5,000. So we should be good. We're passing through 20,000 right now. Not quite transition level. We'll come down here and I'll activate the approach phase. We'll do a decision height of uh, 200. I don't know if that's if you actually have to put in the elevation you're putting at or just the AGL. Your local airlines flies the Embraer 195 from London to Gatwick from Guernsey. Ah, Guernsey. Yes, Guernsey. Guernsey has its own ham radio prefix. Okay, zero, two, zero. Heading 
down to one nine or five flight level. Do you have the Pro Plus? I didn't. Uh, do I have the Pro Plus? I don't think I have the Pro. Is that? I think I do have the Pro Plus, but I don't have the. Um, I don't have the that big advantage one, performance plus or whatever. Yeah. Almost transition level. According to this, Maverick is just off to my left and 2,000 feet above me. Somewhere up there in the sun is Maverick. I don't see him. And you can see here on the ND, our normal path would have taken us out here to G-Man and then G-Man to Duke, but we've ATC has given us a little bit of a shortcut vector to intercept. I see an interesting situation. Everyone, go over to this guy's stream for a second and click the follow button. Z Frank Design is streaming the IXEG from Baltimore to Atlanta. There you go, baby. He just looks like he's relatively new. So go to Z Frank Design, and he's one of the guys here in the chat. Woo! There he is. Click on his name. Go to his go to his page. Give him a follow. Do you have follow alerts on? I want to know. Okay, we can now do uh, standard pressure, or not standard pressure. Landing lights coming on, runway turn off lights coming on. Do you have a microphone? I can't hear you on the stream, but maybe I have it turned down. Maybe I got it muted. No, it should be up. Are you talking? There you go. Yeah, it's kind of quiet over there. You got to talk to the people. <laughs> See, DMB birds in your chat room. Oh, snack. Are you? I, I think you're running SkyMax Pro. That looks like SkyMax Pro clouds right there. Is that right? Okay, we're at thirteen seven. Maverick's going a little bit wider out on his uh, his approach, which is fine, which is good. Get a webcam, man. Get a webcam. Makes all the difference. You can see facial expressions like this. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, webcams make all the difference. When when a lot of people go to to, to host someone, they actually look for people to have webcams because it's just a little bit of a value add for the streamage, if that makes sense.
You should, uh, you should do a web series on broadcasting. <laughs> what not to do and what not to do when you're streaming. <laughs> Valdudes is live. I like Valdudes' title. See, Valdudes here. Valdudes says, um, where did he go? He disappeared on me. There he is. Probably Twitch streamers. Twitch's streamer of the year. I love that. That's awesome. We should click on the Valduders. There he is. Let's see if we can get it. If he says Wanfly, I want to type in Wanfly loves you. Let's see what he. Let's see if he does the sub alert. Here we go. Oh snack. Here we go. Here we go. I was just about to say, one fly loves you, love you too, one fly. <laughs> Good to see you, my man. Yeah, I was just about to say, no, there's a few, uh, little dedicated channel. There's one on that channel. Stop signing on with me. What's up, dude? What's up, bro? <laughs> That's too much fun. Hey, it's C206 stationaire. How you doing? 17 months in a row, John. Holy crap, dude. I know, 17 Thank months. Thank you so much, John. 17 months. Dude, that, that freaks me out how long it's been. <laughs> I just typed in a little funny thing. Oh, that wasn't in his chat. I got to type it in his. 17 months since creative... Yeah. Hey, AJ. How you doing, man? Yep. Yeah, going to IAH. Yep. Hey, Neil. Hey, Ding Driver. You can't seem to land the 737 without a bounce, man. It's it's a tricky, tricky, tricky world out there in the tubes. I tell you what. Yeah. Aerosims on a on a on an intermission. Aerosim gaming. My friend Chaos. Hey, let's do this. Everyone go over and say hello to Chaos. Go to his chat, please. I'll I'll put a link in there. This guy's awesome. He's a very very. He supports so many streamers. It's amazing. I love it. He's very generous. Here's Chaos. Let's go say hi to him. Right before my vector. Go please go put in an O oh snack. Let's see if he responds. Let's see if we can put in a uh, O snack. There we go. Do a John Fly Brew. We have sir. The red thin He hasn't noticed the chat yet. Hello. He's a doom buggy in it. I missed the PUBG. Well. O snack. Yeah, there we go. How's it going, DM Bird? John Fly! How's it going? <laughs> Holy crow. Take this side of the road, I'll take this side of the road. 
right. This wouldn't happen to be a John Fly raid, would it? It's not a John Fly raid yet. I believe. That's awesome. Hey, uh, do you need that cheek pad? That extra cheek pad? Okay. All right, we better land. Uh, anybody? Oh, I've got one. Okay, not a rating yet. Uh, uh, landing bush. Oh, I found an 8x. Uh, Alan, do you want a 4x? I have been sent by John Fly. Okay, let's do here. Let's do localizer. ILS is on. UK, thank you very much for the follow and welcome to the crew. Oh, okay. All right, we'll do... Zero, six, zero, heading. Okay, I gotta do this landing. All right, hopefully we intercept this. I think we're gonna intercept. Let's change the range. Change that to ILS. Bring that down just a tad. Tad, tad. There we go. Uh, never updated X-Plane before. Is it simple or do you have to safeguard some files? I usually back up the entire X-Plane directory minus the custom scenery and aircraft. That's what I usually do. Better arm my spoilers. And uh, yeah, we're on a loke. Hopefully we'll intercept. How come it's not picking up? Uh, Radnav. 110.9er. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Oh, there's the loke. See it coming in, the magenta. Yeehaw! Coming down the pipe. Okay. Okay, we got the loke. Uh, coming down to 2,000. We're a little bit low. Speed's 220. Let's arm the... Uh, I won't arm the approach quite yet. Uh, we're about 16 miles out. There's the airport ahead. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Well, why is it not slowing down? I'm going to put in a notch of flaps. I'm going to put my gear down and get dirty. I would have thought that our speed. Oh, because it's got us there. Okay. I'll go manual speed. Pull it out. Let's go down to approach speed, which will be. That nah, will just play it by ear here. 156. Ah, we don't want to do that yet. Okay, ILS is coming in. Gear is down. Flaps are coming in. That's Sano. Crap. No way. Highway at 2000. Okay, we're fine. Hello, Lilfer. It'll overwrite graphics. You've overwritten enhancement graphics. Yeah, I always back it up. Always. I I tend to back up and then I update with all of my plugins already in there. Does that make sense?
Another notch of flaps. Actually, we can go full flaps. Test them out, even though we're 10 miles out. Just stable. Yeehaw! Where's Maverick? Maverick is right behind me. He's about a thousand feet above, but he's descending. Oh, he's turning. He must be turning. Oh, yeah, he's vectoring north. Okay. There's our runway. Looking for that highway intercept. He was probably coming in too fast, and I'm like going super slow. <laughs> I should have activated the approach phase when I was established. That's what I just learned there. Full flaps. And we'll hit this little APPR button. And we'll dial in the second autopilot. And we'll bring this down to... We're six miles out. 140 is fine. I don't know. If yeah, that should be fine. Let's see. I don't have the landing rate plug in, but... This plane's hard to land, yo! Alright, three and a half miles out. Here comes the landing. You need to push in the speed knob. Oh, you're right. It's funny how it's going exactly what I want it to, though. Well, I don't have the approach mode. Oh, I have to have the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. I'll just go manual speed for now. You're saying that I could get the approach phase back if I had it managed, is what you're saying. Yeah, there we go. One, three, six... For auto land, I have to, but yeah. Still on the slope. Uh, two miles out. I'll disconnect. Approaching zero nine. We'll hand fly it. Because I can. A little bit above. Five hundred check speed checks. Oh, it's got one hundred thirty-three now dialed in. Interesting. Four hundred. Four hundred. It's interesting how you fly over the seven six sevens on final, onto runway nine. Minimum two hundred. I think this one's going to be greasy. But I could be wrong. 50, 40, 30, 20. Retard. Retard. 5. Not quite center line. Reversers. Gotta get the uh, brake fan on. That was cool. 
We'll exit up Caution. here. Short runway. Short runway. Flaps Four coming up. Four thousand feet remaining. <laughs> Four thousand feet remaining. Is Maverick coming in? I guess I'll go to this taxi over here. They usually don't use the brake fans. It blows up. It blows up car. Why is the brake fan button there? You know, I noticed on the earlier versions of the A320, they don't even have a brake fan. RC1, yeah, B2. No. Great landing. Thank you, AJ. That was that was a good one. That was, I call that a snacky landing. I've never used that term before ever. Snacky. All right. We can get rid of this stuff. We can clear the ecam memos. Caution on taxiway. Whoa. On taxiway. Toga taxi. <clears throat> whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I guess I should use the brakes. Oh, we've got two. We got November 772 Sierra Romeo coming in. And we have da uh, Del Delta 2259 on final. Let's stop here and let's film these bad boy guys. Come over here to runway nine. Do you guys see anyone out there? I don't see anyone out there yet. Looks like these, oh, set, uh, the other guy's landing on the other runway, on the other side of the airport, and Maverick is about seven miles out. So we should see him pretty soon here. He should pop into our view here in just a moment. Hello, Cam Mac. David Wood has been using bad words again. Have you seen Have you seen him doing this before? Who are you talking about? I don't even really know who David Wood is. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. The E-Jet's coming in. Oh, baby. I wonder if I'm lined up well enough. Yeah, I think I am. Now we'll back up just a little bit more, just in case. All right, there we go. He's coming in. Hot, hot. Is the org down? Uh-oh. You look like you're a little high, duders. Or gloated? Okay. That seems high, but I can't tell you. Oh no, it's not high. It's just my it's just my aspect ratio. You look good against the uh Mr. X Trees H D and the UPS liveries. <laughs> plug, plug. It's it's up for the some and down for others. You can see his his flaps are out. That's cool. On um, profile, looks like maybe. <laughs> Up for me? Question mark. What are you saying, AJ? has been up all day, yeah. That's what I thought. But 
might, 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 might be regionally down. I don't know. Here he goes. The download page is down? Oh, okay. Home page works, downloads errors. Okay, that's why someone had a mesh error on Mr. X. Oh, looking really good. Maverick coming in. Hand flying it or auto land? That we don't know. Oh, different scenery. <laughs> it looks pretty smooth to me <laughs> with the ground clamping. Different scenery maybe. I don't know. That's pretty cool CSL. I like how it shows his flaps down. It's kind of cool. I like that. He's making the turn. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's continue up here to Houston. Houston. Oh, chaos went on a on a break. Chaos went on a break. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay on target. Whoa, stay on target. He's taxiing down the other taxiway. Too much chaos. Yeah. Should I go that way? Or that way? I think I'll turn up. Ooh, that's a jumbo over there. That's a super. Drunk pilot? Yep. The sea turtle did us well, bird. That sounds funny. Uh-oh. Looks like there's a fence here. What is that? Is it solid? Should I go around it? Or should I blast through it? What is that? We're taking it out. I think I have two Houstons loaded. Immersion ruined. I think I have two Houston's loaded. There's Maverick taxiing back there. Ramming speed. That's right. Okay, well, this plane worked well on RC1. I made a few tactical errors, but didn't die. And actually, the landing was pretty good. We got to do a replay of that landing. Maverick's taxing skills. Yeah, I think I have two sceneries loaded. Although there's not double planes. Hmm. Where's Mav? Mav's got a different scenery. What scenery are you running, Maverick? Are you running uh, gateway stuff or org stuff or what? I can't remember if this is payware or not. There is. There are two planes on top of each other over there. So, uh, yeah, I might have two Houstons loaded. All right, let's watch a replay. Nice. 
not dying is the first step to becoming a better pilot. Exactly. It's one of my better landings, I think. But we won't know until we look. Let's see how gently we get the sea turtle down. You're immortal, Z Frank. It's handy. <laughs> Alright, let's see how juicy this one is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Those days when you wish you had the landing rate plugin installed. Those are the day. That's what Mama said. I mean, because this was just like the they, the maintenance staff better go check the runway for some grease, because that was I mean there was no wing movement whatsoever. Look, watch the wing there. When I touch down, there is no that was silk. That's right. Oh, I've never landed this plane that well. Oh no. No wing movement. Oh, okay, I gotta. Uh, sometimes I just suck at this plane, and this time we got it right. But it, the true test is from the back, right? It's always from the back. <laughs> wing movement broken in RC1 confirmed. <laughs> that could be it. Oh, green screen fail also. This is the truth. This is the truth. Looks like a little bit of a crab. And then bringing it out. All right, that was pretty, oh. Okay, granted, the nose wheel, nose wheel steering. Yeah, that scene always makes it look bad. <laughs> Let's quickly see what the tower saw. <laughs> it's funny how that, it's funny how that back. Uh, are you doing a replay, Maverick, or are you out? It's funny how that that back replay looks so makes it look loved. <laughs> yeah, the runway alignment. Meh. <laughs> oh, rip tower in the way. We have to go back. <laughs> <laughs> 